Welcome to episode 17 of the Unexceptional Moms podcast. I'm Erin Lorraine. And I'm Ellen Stembo. And today we're going to be talking about life hacks for special needs parents. And all of these life hacks came from special needs parents. Yes. So I just kind of jumped on Facebook and asked for some ideas and they started coming flooding in. I think had I thought to ask a day or two ago, we would have had a lot more, but yes. this was just in one day. We got quite a few. So. We have plenty. So the freebie is a PDF with a list of the live hacks that we're going to be talking about. So if you go to ellenstumble.com forward slash episode 17, and that's the numbers, uh, scroll down to the bright orange button that is going to say, yes, send me the PDF, and you're going to get it in your inbox right away. So let's go. Let's get started. Live hacks. So something that both Aaron, you and I have done is we have hired people to come and clean our house. Yeah. And I normally would not be able to afford to do that, but I recently took on a little bit of an extra job. Um, and so we had just a little extra and that is a place that was very important for me for it to go because it gives me more time with my family and the stress of that was just too much. Mm -hmm. And for us, it was more of a, we were willing to pay for that and maybe not be able to go out to eat, you know, mm. as much as a family, or maybe we don't get to go to a movie theater, you know, if there's compromise when it comes to cost, it was definitely worth it. Yeah. So yeah. I agree. It's, it's saved us. I, I was just telling Larry the other day, I can't remember the last time I thought to myself, I've got to get to clean this house. When am I going to have time to clean the house? I, we do just do it every two weeks. Um, and so it gets kind of gunky in between, but I just leave it and they clean it when they come back. Yep. And we've been doing that for years and years. It, we just that. recently started it. What, yeah. maybe six months ago? Yeah. And we've been doing it for like three years. So it's been a while. Wow. I know it's, it's worth it. It is it worth is it. So worth it. Yes. Unless yeah. you like to clean. Unless it, for some people, cleaning is that like you know they how they manage stress. Right. Cleaning makes me stressed. Me too. <laughs> so I can't handle it. Another uh, life hack, and I'm huge on crock pot meals, uh, one pot meals, easy meals, freezer, freezer meals, meals, the instant pot. And then I got an instant pot. And then you did. Oh, happy me. Yes. I, again, if you love to cook, great. I despise it. And so I am quite loving this. Is, this Instant Pot is the thing right now. Like it's everywhere. People mm -hmm. are talking about it and buying them like crazy. And it was worth every penny. It is. Because you can have rice in like five minutes. It, I'm Up actually doing time. that this week for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, I am all about one pot meals. And I'm really huge on freezer meals. And this is, these are all things that I actually talk about in my course for special needs parents. And we talk about it, but sometimes if I make one meal, I just want a one pot meal, I'll make two and then I'll put the other one in the freezer. So when I need it, it just comes out of the freezer. So yeah. freezer meals are phenomenal. If you've never done it, it's worth it. Join my course and you get 10 freezer meals. That's my little commercial right there. <laughs> <laughs> and just, one pot. I just want everything in one pot so that mm. it's super easy. Yeah. And have someone else make meals for you, which you had then for a while. Oh, I did have a lady who volunteered to help us out during a really rough time. Um, and she made meals for us. And my mom sometimes calls and says, okay, Thursday night I'm bringing dinner um, because everyone knows how much I hate cooking. And so it, for people who love cooking, it's been a very easy way for them to help our family during some of the rough times. And it's been a huge blessing to us. Mm -hmm. So if you know someone who enjoys to cook, so I think the lady that um, helps me clean my house, she actually cooks for other people. And usually they ask her to make like real traditional Mexican meals, right? but she will do that. And I have at some point asked her, Hey, when are you going to make tamales? Do you want to make some for my family? So I just pay for the ingredients, you know, and she, uh -huh. the friend, she's also, you know, she's happy to bring it to me. So, yep. I, we're sounding like, like horrible homemakers. We're like, I don't like to clean my house. I hate to cook. <laughs> well, it's true. Oh, well. Which, which I have to say though, because I am obsessive 
as you know, Erin, about um, healthy and clean eating. So I think because of that, although I don't enjoy it, even my one pot meals, I'm like, no dark meat, all veggies, all homemade, no things from a can. So I just make it harder for myself, which means yeah. everybody know you don't have to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that's just my obsession with it. Um, because if you don't know why, go listen to an episode from yeah. last week. Yeah, go listen to episode 16. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so the other life hack. Now, these are the ones that Aaron and I came up with, just so you know, everything else came from other people. <laughs> um, a, a mattress with a, like a zip cover mattress. And somebody says that there's a kind that you only get the top off. Right. So from what I understand, you put the mattress pad on and then the top, the top of it zips off. So you zip the top off so you don't have to take the whole thing off. You just wash the top oh. and then zip it back on. That sounds really I've never cool. used one, but I've been intrigued by them because yeah. I wash a lot of mattress pads. That would be – I've never – I didn't even know they made those. Yes, and I think they're on Amazon, but I don't even know what to tell you to look for. So maybe if I can find the link, I'll, I'll have you put it on the yes. web Just page, Google uh, mattress cover with zip. No. Or, I don't know. So, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, footy pajamas with the feet cut out and backwards with a Velcro on the back. Okay, so a lot of people use a safety pin, but I actually know someone, or the woman who told us about this hack, or one of the women, said her daughter pulled the safety pin off from the back and ate it. So what she did is she added Velcro to the back, um, and it's really super duty strong Velcro. And so her daughter can't get it open. So I thought that was pretty darn smart. Yes. And this is for parents who have kids who at night take their clothes yes. off and their diaper off. And, yes. And, then, and paint, yes. you know, with uh, <laughs> things you shouldn't paint with. <laughs> <laughs> Shower curtains under car seats. Genius. It is genius. I don't do that. But I love that idea. Yes. They, they sell some fancy ones like a Target, but they're probably like $40. Right. And you can probably just get a, a shower, cheap shower curtain. curtain. Or, yeah. yeah. For a lot less. Um, the other one, routine, 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 particularly bedtime and morning routine. Okay. So, you know, everyone's routine is a little different, but the, the person who um, said this was just suggesting how important routine is for her kids, but also to make her life easier. So what she does is she has a bucket out at night. Um, and so when the kids go to bed, they, what did, she, they put the clothes in for the next day, right? Mm -hmm. So in their bucket is everything they need to get ready for the next day. Then in the morning, they know exactly what they need to do. They go straight to their bucket and they put on their clothes and then they take off their pajamas and put them in the bucket to wear again until they need to, until they launder them. And so then it's there in the evening. And she um, said that has really helped their mornings. Mm -hmm. I am a huge believer in routines, especially the bedtime routine. And that's one of the lessons I have in my course that we talk about creating bedtime routines that work for you and not against you. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of routines is that when you have a routine set up and established, if a crisis come, not if, but when a crisis comes, mm -hmm. getting back on your feet is a lot easier because you already have a plan established and you're not just scrambling for that. So developing a good routine that you try to be consistent with mm -hmm. But even if it's something that you are not always consistent with, if it's something that you can easily pick up and start again, that helps a ton. Right. So the next one, one size smaller swim shirts as compression vests. Oh, those fun. compression vests are not cheap. No. Yeah, that's a great idea. And so the swim material is very similar material to some of those um, it is. that the swim shirts are. And it would go not, it would go easily under another shirt. I love that idea. I do too. So along with that, because it's a sensory thing, uh, there's weighted blankets, mm -hmm. uh, lycra sheets. Mm -hmm. Anything else? There's, I mean, lycra swings and lycra, the big body socks and stuff like that. Right, right. Um, so that's for that kind of a sensory thing. Um, 
Auto ship subscriptions. Which I don't do, but I really need to start. Yes. And, you know, I didn't think about it as a life hack, but we do. All our paper products are delivered and they're on a, you know, through Amazon. We have and they're on a schedule, right? They're on a schedule. And we mm -hmm. also get um, a ton of like snacks for school that are gluten free and dairy free. Mm -hmm. So we get those every month and it does. It's so nice. It's a lifesaver. You don't have to go to the grocery store when you run out of snacks for school. Right. Um, toilet Which, paper, paper towels. Um, now that Anya's gluten-free, dairy-free, I'm going to need you to send me that list of snacks. So yeah. snack ideas for her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Side note. Sorry. Side note. But yeah, I love that idea. Diapers. You can do diapers on it. You can do wipes on it. You can, mm -hmm. I mean, you can do anything. Everything. On it. Yeah. Anything and everything. And you know, another life hack that we didn't have, but I just thought about this right now. Um, Walmart has the, that you just go and pick up I love my grocery pickup. Why didn't grocery I think pickup. of that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me explain how this works. And I don't know, you know, that it's everywhere. You have to look it's and see. Not. We don't have that in our area. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know. So basically I go online and I fill up my grocery cart online. Um, and then I pick a time that's available. It's an hour time slot. And in within that hour, I drive to Walmart and I let them know I'm there and they bring all the groceries out to me and put them in my car and I wave goodbye and I leave. And that's how I grocery shop. It's and fun. they guarantee you that the produce is going to be well picked. I've been very pleased with the produce. And I know that's often a big complaint. Mm -hmm. I've been very pleased with the produce. And like if they're out of something or they don't have something, you can say whether or not you're willing for them to find you a substitution. And, but they will tell you when they bring your groceries out to you, this is, you know, we had to substitute this and this is what we substituted it with. Mm -hmm. That's really, I, I wish we had that here. I love it. I love it. Yes. So there's one that we had forgotten um, about. Now the next one, video chat with friends after the kids go to bed. You mean like we're doing right now? Yeah. Well, you and I get to do every Monday night. Me and you and everyone who's listening. <laughs> That's right. Um, but, and the lady that suggested that, she said that she has a Bible study with her. Yeah, great idea. It's a great idea. Yeah. Because now that we have the, the, the video, you know, the, I guess with social media, we're able to do stuff like that. Exactly. And this is, you know, as a, as a mom of kids with special needs, it's sometimes you just want to get out of the house, right? And just not be out of this zone. And sometimes you want to say hi to a friend, but you don't want to leave your pajamas. And let's just be honest, Ellen, more times than not, you and I look great from here up. Yeah. <laughs> We're, We're ready pajamas. for bed from here down when we yeah. do this. So I thought that was a great idea. That is a, that is a great idea. Get together with your best friend and do your weekly shopping list together. And then Ellen said, oh, I would do my shopping with my friend. Yes. I said with you. You're my well, friend. <laughs> if you were here, we would do Walmart I'm, grocery pickup. So you wouldn't <laughs> need would, to worry about it. We would drive together to Walmart. There you go. Groceries. Yes. That's it. I think that's a great idea because I don't enjoy grocery shopping. I don't enjoy making the list. Me neither. I, at all. But and I that would, what I like about that idea is you could give each other ideas and... You know, I think what she, I think essentially what the, her and her friend are doing is killing two birds with one stone. Yes. They're hanging out together and having fun, but they're accomplishing something for their family as well. I like it. I think that's a great life hack. Okay. Um, Yusa wants you to prevent diaper access, which I think most parents have done that at some point. Sure. Sure. Probably. I don't have diaper access problems. Thank you, Jesus. Um, some people do. I mean, back to painting with things you shouldn't be painting with. It just happens. Mm -hmm. um, so that wins, onesie keeps them from getting <laughs> from the top. Yes. Um, because they do, <coughs> they do make them now in bigger sizes. I guess. Yes. Then. So. Although, you know, they're even coming back in style. Do you remember back in the oh, yes. early 90s, was it, that we wore like leotards? Yes, yes I and remember. It's coming back again. I was shocked. For adults, you have seen for that adults? For adults? Yes. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yes. I had one of those. Yep. Okay, the next one, locks. 
Locks, 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 locks everywhere. Locks, locks everywhere. for the fridge, locks for the um, doors, locks for the dog food. <laughs> High locks. High locks. On yes. your doors. Um, yeah. And then somebody mentioned door and window alarms. Mm-hmm. And you can get multi packs mm-hmm. at like a hardware store, mm-hmm. and they're fairly cheap. And so basically, when they come apart, they make a loud, obnoxious noise. But a great solution if you need to know if that front door gets opened and you can't afford a security system. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And and I would guess most hardware stores would sell it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, a camera with a motion sensor. Mm-hmm. Again, uh, in here, we're getting into a lot of eloping issues. So a lot yeah. of parents of kids with special mm-hmm. needs have kids who yes. elope or escape. And um, these are just tips to know when your child is in your house. So we, had, we have an eloper. Um, and so we do high locks. And she's little enough that that has kept us safe. But one time someone was at my house and they left and I forgot to relock. And so I was in the back of the house putting stuff away and I hear a noise and I'm like, what was that noise? And then I'm like, where is Anya? And then it takes me a minute, but I put two and two together that that noise was the front door shutting because Anya ran out because I didn't relock it. So I run out and she is in my driveway dancing in her underwear. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good thing is she was in your driveway and not. And she was in my driveway. And, and those of you who might know her, um, she really like. If she's home, she's in her underwear. So she has no problem going out and dancing in her underwear, you know? <laughs> you know, we had a lot of issues with eloping, but thankfully for us, as Nicole has gotten older, we don't have as many issues. Mm-hmm. However, and I don't have this as a life hack, but it is a life hack for, uh, you know, a GPS system can be really expensive, mm. um, but there's the, something called the buddy tag and the Joey tag. And I will add that. Um, mm-hmm. Add the Walmart grocery pickup too while you're yes, at it. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's not a GPS, uh, but it's more like it's a Bluetooth. So it's like a little, it looks like a little bracelet that the kids put on and you have the app on your phone. So you can decide how far your child can go and then it will alert you. Mm-hmm. So we have used the body tag. I love that. And if you have a child like Anya who moves at the speed of light, Mm-hmm. That's incredibly helpful. Yes. And you can decide how close. So you m- might want to have it really close to you so that when the alarm goes off, you know that if you look around, you will see your child. You'll see her. Right. Yep. And if like you're also, um, hmm, they have a water alarm, all of them. So if a child goes oh. in the water, it would alert you as well, which that's pretty helpful for all yeah. parents as well. So that's the buddy tag and the Joey tag. And I will make sure to have links. Um, and what's the difference between a buddy and a Joey? Um, so the body tag, I, th- I think it's the distance. To be honest, I haven't used the Joey tag. And I think the Joey tag, it's a little bit more GPS-ish. Okay. Um, the price is going to be different. Okay. So a lot of those kind of things are coming out now, though. I think it's finally being recognized that there's a group of families that need something like that. Yep, absolutely. Um, another life hack, uh, baby gate at the door for your child, even if they can open it. Mm-hmm. Um, Slows them because, down. Yes, because somebody mentioned they can climb over it or they will push it over, but it wakes you up as a parent, so you know that. I thought of another um, eloping hack that you need to add. Okay. Did you know that you can call your local police department yes. and red flag that you have an eloper? So basically they go into your address and they make a note that you have an eloper and they kind of, you, you give a little bit of a description. Then if anyone ever calls finding a child and they pull your neighborhood up, your house will be red flagged as yes. having an eloper. And that's what it's called, red flag. Yeah. So you do, you call the police and some uh, police departments, they actually have a program where they actually do have GPS uh, bracelets. They do, some of them. And you pay so much every three months and every three months they come and they change the battery. So I have a friend whose daughter has the little bracelet. <coughs> Sorry. So if she does elope, they, they call the police, but then the police, they can see exactly where she's at because it's like. It's a good GPS. Yeah. And I'll add to that. You can also, if you have um, 
a family member with mental illness, you can red flag your house for that as well. Um, and so we have our house red flagged for if um, us or anyone would call the police. When our house comes up, it will show that we have a mentally ill child who is violent and that we need a, um, a CPI trained, not CPI, help me. Okay, it just jumped out of my head. There's a special training that some police officers have to deal with people with mental health issues. And so that's the kind of police officer I want coming to my house if I get a, you know, if I have mm -hmm. to call. And so I don't have to explain that to them. It'll all come up. If a neighbor would call, it all comes up and they know to send a trained officer and that what they might be walking into. Yeah, that's a good point. It's not, it, it can be for... I mean, whatever you need your house to be red flagged for. Right. Um, which I know it's also good because in case of a fire, for example, if they know that there is someone with mobility issues, um, mm. you can also yes. arrange and let them know where the bedroom is at, you yep. know, and stuff like that. So that's a very good life hack and just mm -hmm. probably a good idea for us, all of us as parents, you know, especially to right. think through. Because I know that that's something that... Um, that I think about sometimes is what if there's a fire, you know, right? Cause we have kids with mobility issues. So right. we have a plan, but it would not be bad for, you know, if 911, you know, we call 911 for them to know already right. to go the bedrooms, you know, all of them. Okay. So the baby gate at the door, we talked about that. Uh, now this was really, I thought this was a great idea. Uh, practice putting socks on by using adult socks to guarantee the success yes yes and the person who suggested that said that her child who i know her she has down syndrome was a pro at putting her socks on and off by four years old um because she had that larger sock to start to learn with i love that idea i do love that idea too um using a calendar app on your phone which is me and well, someone else suggested it, but my phone is my lifeline and my calendar app. I, I will never show up anywhere if it's not on my calendar app. And this and is you do my yeah. brain. And for those that actually are watching this in the video, I literally call this my brain. <laughs> and I have it so beautifully organized with tabs. And my whole life is here and it makes sense. And I carry this with me everywhere and I can go back and look at what was before and something I teach in my class too. Your brain. Well, I mean, everybody should join my class. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, prepare in advance for an IEP. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I said before. I like to ask for a copy of the draft before we have mm -hmm. the IEP meeting. Yep. So that's just a simple life hack that most of us, especially needs parents, at some point, we're going to have to do that. Right. I mean, or, you know, we have to go to IEP meetings and it's just really helpful. In my opinion, it's very helpful. <laughs> um, okay, keep a support group of special needs mom friends. Well, and I think the point of that one was they get it. Yes, they basically get have friends who are also parents of kids with disabilities. Yes, yeah. yeah. And those are the people you wanna be. <laughs> Skyping with or meeting for coffee with because they get your life. Yeah. So keep that support system. Yes. And, and we've mentioned this in another podcast. I mean, social media has allowed us to connect and mm -hmm. friends on Facebook can be real friends too. Yeah. So well, that's when we talked about friendship. We have so many great podcasts, you guys, that you haven't listened to any others. <laughs> you just need to go back. Uh, oh, here's another one. For those who have girls... Mm. practice using feminine products such as pan liners or pads even before the girls start having their periods. Mm -hmm. And so we have a couple of options there. One was we have, um, we had one lady who just uses them in general because then they help with other messy issues, you know, but then by the time the child needed them for her period, it was routine. And then the situation you told me about. Yep. Um, there's a mom who, uh, what she did is that before um, her daughter had a period, she just bought a whole bag of, um, you know, pads and they watched the video. Um, 
and I don't know if it's on YouTube, but it was, you know, it's an old video. It was done a, a long time ago, but kind of repeated what you do um, over and over. And it's a girl learning how to do it. And then after they watched the video, the mom said to the daughter, now they went to the bathroom. The mom showed her, you know, how to do it. And then she gave her the whole bag and said, go ahead, practice. I want you to go through the entire bag. Um, so she practiced, you know, I mean, 36 times, uh, putting a pad on in her panties, taking it off, which, um, really helped. Yeah. So, so sorry, repetitive. Practicing. Um, and I know that this is a little, you know, personal and sometimes it's, you know, Aaron and I talk about how much do we share that's that kind of personal, but the reality is for those of us who have yeah. um, kids with disabilities, this is uh, a big deal and we're not talking about any specific child. We're just saying in general, this are yes. good ideas. This and comes up in my special needs groups frequently. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And these are so. conversations that any parent that has daughters is going to have about their daughters in general. <laughs> you know, like, what do you do when you get to those years? And, and I think for, you know, as a special needs parent, you think about that even more. Because for a lot of us, we're the ones managing it, not our children. So the last one now is... I have another one for you. Oh, you, you did. Mm -hmm. Someone else just commented on Facebook. I just I saw it, so checked it. <laughs> we have to so go ahead. Before that, um, to having having a small uh, stool in the car so that kids can easily get mm -hmm. in without the parents having to do all the lifting for some for the kids who can. Obviously, yes. a child with a physical disability, you you're going to help them, but um, and that can work two ways. So we used a little stool outside of the van, and Oksana would step on the stool and then step in the van and sit in her seat. The woman who suggested it uses the stool in the van and it gives her daughter the boost to get up into the seat. Mm -hmm. So, and Anya has a harder time getting up in the seat. So that's a great idea. It is. And what's the new one that you just got? Oh, okay. Let me look real quick. It says, um, carry extra plastic grocery bags because they can be folded down really small and they can be used for a lot of things. Um, and then she talks about paper towel rolls in the car and um, we, we, who, oh yeah, yeah, right. She's saying, sorry, in the drive-through, people give you those teeny tiny napkins that don't work very well. So mm -hmm. she has a paper towel roll um, oh. for, dealing with, for dealing with messes that she keeps in the car. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yep. I have Norwex cloths and a water bottle. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's so. wipes. I use wipes a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good mm -hmm. stuff. There you go. So these are our life hacks. So the freebie, if you do go to um, <laughs> ellensama.com forward slash episode with 17, the orange button, and it's basically it's the list of everything that we talked about. Yeah. So it's just in a PDF and you can look at that. Um, for ideas, if you want to get your own ideas. And we'd love to hear what your hacks are. Like, comment. Yes, please. And I, I'd love to hear your hacks, too, because that could really help me. I know. We just had some really good ideas, and I thought, I, I should be doing that. So. Yeah, let us know oh. your hacks. And um, if you're on iTunes, leave us a review on iTunes. Yes. And... Is that it? That's it. So okay. until next week. Yes. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.